Today is going to be a very busy day at the aerodrome. Four sorties are planned and I will be taking part in one of them at 3.30 p.m. We will take off and conduct an offensive patrol. The flight path is fairly routine. Our job is to hop over no man's land and harass that cluster of German airfields just north of us. Hopefully the Huns don't come out in mass. Rumors are also trickling in that we'll start getting the new spads by the end of the month. By god I really hope these rumors are true. I really feel like each time I take off in this new port I'm pushing my luck. Hello everybody, Wolfpack345 here, and welcome back to some more Rise of Flight. Today we'll be taking off on an offensive patrol across the mud to engage uh, German fighters. Really, we're just going to do an offensive sweep. Let's go ahead and throttle down. We are in a flight of four, and I'm dead last. That's a pretty rough position to be in because, well, I'm the easiest aircraft to jump, so I guess I'll just have to be on my toes this sortie. Let's go ahead and take a look at the map. It's a pretty routine flight pattern. We'll take off hop over no man's land and harass this cluster of German airfields here and then just run on back. We seem to do this quite frequently so it's become fairly routine. Uh, looks like we're actually taking off with the wind as well so that might cause some issues on takeoff but hopefully nothing I can't handle. Hopefully nothing shrapnel catcher can't handle. That is the new name of my aircraft. Thank you Zachary for that. It's quite the name I must say. <laughs> It fits too. Alright, so we'll go ahead and start rolling here. And it's quite a cloudy day. That might cause some issues with staying in formation and keeping my eyes on the enemy. Hopefully nothing I can't handle once again. Overall, this series is going rather well. I'm honestly surprised I've uh, made it back to base as much as I have. Hopefully this will be our second perfect landing as well. That is the goal at least. Alright, so we are now airborne in our trusty Newport 28th. Nothing much to say besides that. There were a few sorties this morning. There was a lone patrol and a reconnaissance patrol. Uh, the reconnaissance patrol happened first and then some poor sergeant was set up on a lone patrol, but he made it back A-OK, -okay, so that is good as well. Overall, our, air, our squadron seems to be doing rather well out here, so... I figured I would update you guys on that, but you guys know how this works. I'll probably go ahead and cut the video here, and we will go ahead and hop over No Man's Land, and I'll get back to you guys when we inevitably see some Hun airplanes. Alright, we've begun a sudden dive. Who knows where we are going? I did not catch... Well, is that a balloon? No, that's just a smudge. I have no idea where we're diving to. <laughs> I, I was not paying very much attention. I was just working on fl formation flying whenever my flight lead just decided, hey, let's nose dive over. Uh, but yeah, I don't see diddly squat, so. He obviously, oh, there's a balloon, 12 o'clock. That's probably what we're going for. All right, let's go bust a balloon. All right, we can go ahead and increase throttle just a bit as well. Well, when I say just a bit, I mean, as much as we can. We just have our four settings. There's also, it's like flax exploding. I spy two aircraft coming into the balloon. I'm assuming they're friendly since flak is exploding all around them. We'll see. I'm, if they start shooting at the balloon, then we'll definitely know. Isn't that right? Yep, definitely friendly. I wonder what they are. They kind of, they look like fairly large aircraft. They might be two-seaters very possible but they are laying into that thing I don't know if they were successful with their attack <laughs> well the balloons going down and it looks like it actually deflated a little bit Let's go ahead and begin our attack run. Uh, I don't know if I want to engage this here balloon. That's kind of a steep dive. It looks like the Germans are retracting it pretty quickly. So, Oh, flight lead's going for it though. Yeah, I'm not going to make that steep dive. I'm not crazy. Looks like flight lead is though. Yeah, no thank you. 
I'm, I'm very cautious about sh shearing my wings off. The, the wings on the Newport are very fragile, as I keep saying. Uh, luckily, I haven't had any major malfunction with them, or else that would have been the end of the series, huh? There's also, there's a balloon right there. Could have swung around and engaged that one, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be smart, and I'm just gonna stick with my flight and try not to get in too much trouble by myself. So we'll just continue on flying and see what other trouble we can get ourselves into. Okay, we have an unidentified aircraft, 12 o'clock. We're on a perpendicular course to them, so we're going to go ahead and engage them. We're right over that cluster of German airfields. Thankfully, we're pretty high up, so any aircraft they scramble to intercept us will have quite a long climb before they can reach us. So I do not want to go down there because I'm sure they're scrambling all sorts of just stuff. <laughs> I want to avoid getting shredded to death as much as possible. It looks like two bogeys, though. Oh, it looks like possible four. All right, let's begin our engagement. It looks like flight lead is going in. Copy that. Let's see. We have a pair. Of, we have two and two. So I'm going to go for the second pair. Ooh, there's actually quite a few. It looks like six aircraft in the air. Be sure I don't accidentally slam into any of my friends here. Oh, uh, what do we have? Looks like two-seaters. Where are y'all going for? I think we're going for the other group of fighters, which are possible fighters. I'm assuming they're fighters since it's a group of four at 12 o'clock. That sounds fine with me. Rear gunners scare me. Oh, wow. That's four aircraft over there. So what? There's eight Germans in this area? I am not liking these odds, my friends. Well, I just need to be prepared to bounce out at a moment's notice. Need to be sure I don't tunnel vision here. Thankfully, that is a new 428 on my 6 o'clock. Alright, we have the altitude advantage. We're going to need all the help we can get. Looks like one's going head-on with me. I do not want to do that. So let's go ahead and swing around. He would probably shoot right past me. There we go. Like clockwork. Unfortunately, he is a much better turner than I am. Yeah, well, you folks know this. These D7s are much better at everything than I am. All right, let's whip around and get these two here. Looks like they're shooting at my friend. I don't know how well I actually did there. D7, 12 o'clock. Let's go for him. If we can take out even the odds a little bit. Whoa, Jesus Christ, that was close as hell. Oh boy, I'm getting shot at. Low. Oh boy, this is not good. I'm diving. No thank you. Where are my, where's my flight? All right, we have to be careful here in this dive. Looks like three D7s are on my six. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? All right, we're heading home. Looks like I, I see an aircraft. That's a new port. Shit. This is not good. It looks like my flight just got the heck out of Dodge and left me. It doesn't look like they're really gaining on me. And there's Archie blowing up all around us. We're probably flying over a Hun airfield now. I think I'm actually outrunning them. I don't think they're really trying to pursue us. Looks like this new port is leaking. It's having engine trouble. I have another contact at 11 o'clock there in the cloud. <laughs> that is terrifying though. All right, let's see. I'm gonna stick with this new port here. It looks like we have another possible, possibly a new port over there who looks damaged. Wow, I think my flight got really torn up in that that melee there. Can't say I'm really surprised. RPM is off the chain right now. Let's go ahead and throttle back, even though we are being pursued. Oh wow, that Archie's close as well. This whole situation is just uh, a big old not good. I think that new port might be going down. I don't want to leave him undefended where he gets uh, destroyed by these D7s though. See how far, wow, we are so far behind German lines too. I don't think, I don't even see it. I think his engine might've stopped. 
he was leaking something and that was a pretty telltale sign of where he was but so I'm not seeing it I have a feeling his engine just went kaput and he's going down well I lost contact I need to focus on getting home I don't see anyone else either I don't see the Huns on my six either do I loop around and look for my squadron or do I just head on home I think I'm gonna go ahead and climb and try to find my flight even though all this Archie is making me nervous as well and if those three Fokker D7s show up again I'm just gonna head on home pour on the coals and head home because flying over here by myself is quite scary okay there's I think that's those are those three Fokkers I don't see any other aircraft. There's no tracer rounds going on. It looks like they're turning away. Probably heading back home. Well, it looks like I am alone here. Let's see, some Archie. There we go, there's an aircraft right there. Let's see if it's friendly. If it's friendly, I'll form up on them. Looks like I'm launching a flare, I think. That is most certainly a Newport. I think our flight leader got downed. So I think I'm gonna, go, we're gonna go ahead and head home. The Germans are coming out in mass today. I don't think it's really worth it to stick about. So let's go ahead. I'll circle around and see if any of my friends want to kind of form up on me. I have some a contact down there low. Do I want to go down there? I totally lost them. Yeah, all this Archie is making it not very appetizing, <laughs> frankly. Well, I'm going to go ahead and circle up, see if I can meet back with my flight, and I'll get back to you guys momentarily. Okay, I've been circling around this area for a while. I have not seen my any, any other Newport. I have a feeling everyone might be dead or crashed, so I'm heading back home. I'm just going to pour on the coals and head home. All of that Archie fire was making me very nervous anyway. They're getting pretty close, as you can see, and it looks like there are quite a few batteries trying to just blow me out of the sky. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and hop across the mud and head on home. This was not a long sortie at all. We pretty much have full fuel. Oh wow, that was close. Okay, yeah, so we're just going to kind of have a zigzag course and try to make it back home. Hopefully I don't get jumped by a, any German aircraft out here alone. I would I would not like that at all. <laughs> to be to be completely honest. So all right, well, we'll go ahead and head back home. Okay, there's our airfield dead ahead. We're going to be landing straight into the wind. So this is pretty good. We're we're already on approach here. And I don't know what's wrong with my throttle. My throttle's having issues right now. It keeps just magically, well, and then it stops. Well, there we go. I'm not, I'm not touching anything, but anyway, that's awfully irritating. I don't know why it is doing that. Anyway, regardless, that's going to cause some issues for me. It might be better just for... Okay, we'll start hitting our blip switch. So I want to be on power setting number two. So we need to land a little earlier than we did in the last sortie. Because, uh, obviously, last time we got awfully freaking close... To those those buildings there <laughs> well actually remembering it we, we rolled right past them okay I want power setting number two and we'll come in here for a nice hopefully hopefully soft landing we don't spin or anything like that and perfect my best landing yet I have to say finally getting the hang of it 
and we stopped just shy of the hangar. So maybe I should land a little shorter, but uh, that's not bad at all. I gotta say, that gives us plenty of room, and I'm actually quite happy with that. I think I'm the, I did not see a single Entente aircraft on my way home, so I'm actually really worried to see what the mission results were. We didn't complete our main objective. We didn't finish going up here, because I just ran on home, because that was swarming with Hun aircraft. So let's see what the final results are. Yes, I am sure. And exactly what I feared. So everyone's injured. Clyde Balkenhard? <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one right there. Ray Griffin and Joe Carter, they were all injured. But I guess they all managed to crash on our side of the lines. I can't tell. Yeah, I guess it would have been captured. We'll see though, let's find out. That was actually quite a long sortie. We were up in the air for 45 minutes. I'm curious to see. So yeah, I guess they were all, all wounded in action. Okay, that's good. They were just wounded in action. They aren't <laughs> dead or captured by the Germans. So that is actually rather good. But I think this mission was a complete failure. Let's see. Oh, it says complete, I guess, because I landed. Well, I was the only one to make it home, and my aircraft is completely intact. I did not catch any shrapnel, which is quite a feat, I suppose. So that will, I'll end the episode with that. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Sorry, this probably is going to be a little shorter of an episode, but hopefully you like it nonetheless. Thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next one.